What's up guys, it's Sarah X, welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna be doing something a little different. I'm gonna be showing you guys everything that I have received from brands and companies over the past couple of months. All products that I really, really enjoy and the ones that I want to talk about. I just wanna show that you don't have to have a huge amount of subscribers or following to be able to partner with brands and to be able to be sent stuff to try out. Because when I started YouTube, I thought you had to have like millions of followers to kinda start being sent PR stuff. I always love watching like PR unboxing. I'm gonna show you guys all the stuff I got, give you my honest reviews, and I think a lot of these things would actually be great gift ideas as well. Basically, these brands like will email me what they're looking for, what they want to send. There's like different agreements for each brand, and I actually get a decent amount of emails. The first one I'm gonna talk about is level eight luggage. This legitimately might be one of my favorite things I've ever received from YouTube. I've been in need of some new luggage and like some cute luggage and functional luggage because mine is like ripping at the seams, I'm not even kidding. And it doesn't have the four wheels. And so level eight, let me pick out a carry-on luggage. It came in this little cloth bag in a really cute like box that had a handle on it. I'm genuinely so excited to use this on my next trip. It's kind of like a square shape, two-toned, standard carry-on luggage with the four wheels at the bottom. Very smooth, very sleek. It's called the Voyager Carry-On in the Celadon color. Got the level eight right here, the security code right here that you can input. I love the handle because look how wide it is. I feel like this is wider than most luggage handles. The wheels are so smooth. Like this is me moving around. Do you see how smooth that is? Here is the inside. We got a whole compartment up here. It's very, very spacious. So it's like two separate compartments, little pockets and stuff inside as well. Level 8 is a high-end American luggage brand that caters to frequent travelers who have a certain aesthetic and quality requirement. The bag retails for about $220 and it has over 500 five-star reviews. If you're looking for new luggage, definitely check out Level 8. I'm very impressed. The next brand I'm going to talk about is Linger, which is a jewelry brand. They have very delicate, delicate jewelry. The stuff I got from them, I'm not even kidding, I wear pretty much every day. First thing is this very dainty, very cute little bracelet, which my friend Angela saw the other day and she was like, where did you get that? I just love how like thin and small it is and it's so cute. And it's got this adjustable thing for the wrist. These pair of earrings, I'm not even kidding, I may have worn every single day in the past couple of months since I've received these. They're just like these very mini little hoops and they're small enough where I can wear them to bed and it doesn't hurt my ears. By the way, everything came in this really cute case too. Like each one had this own little pink velvet bag that had the jewelry and then a little card with maintenance and stuff in it. This is also one of my favorite rings now and the jewel is super shiny and pretty and just so small and rectangular. I wear this all the time. And then another pair of earrings, similar to the first ones, but this one has a little pearl looking thing dangling off of it. Very cute, I've also worn these a handful of times. They just open like that. Next we have this brand called Comfily, like Comfily. They have very comfy, fitting to the name, bras, and then they also have leggings. So comfortable, like it's seamless. The pads are so, so soft. Like this is softer than my Victoria's Secret bras, which is saying something. The back clasps, I like how the straps are thicker. It also came with this, which extends the length of the band in case you need it to be wider. So you just hook this onto this and it can make it longer. The bras are made of nylon and spandex. Guys, look how many bras they sent me. <laughs> I am set for bras and they all have slightly different styles. So I'm gonna go through each one and some of them are double as a sports bra type vibe. So this one's cool. This one's all black, but in the back, it has this little elastic part that's stretchy and this part's dark green. So this part's elastic and this one is a racer back style. And all the bras they sent me were in a size small. This one's cool. This one's more of a sports bra. So it's a cool kind of like gray black splat splatter pattern and it just looks like a little sports top. It's kind of like a seamless energy where it's like super thin and seamless. All padded. Here's the info and I think their little logo thing is so cute on the back. And all the ones that have the normal bra stuff in the back came with the extra clasp. Like this one, I have the extra clasp on. So that's how wide it can get. I love the colorway on this one. It's like a white 
and light gray. Such a pretty little bra. Then we have this one. Now this one's slightly scalloped. So they also have a little scalloped style. Everything else is pretty similar to the other ones except for the coloring and the scallop detail. This one's cool. This one's a forest green color. One of my favorite colors at the moment. And if you look closely, it has these little black grip things. So it's kind of sticky. And I feel like it would just, it could like grip to your shirt keep it in place. The back is crisscross, actually has mesh over here. And then also the little bra thing at the bottom. We have the leggings. This is the little cute logo they have. This part definitely is like sucks you in compression. And it even does have a little pocket in the back here. Comfy, just a full length, cool blue color. Definitely on the more lightweight, thin material. I am actually very insanely impressed by the jewelry I got from Nihao Jewelry, which is all in here, I'll show you. Everything was very, cheap so I didn't know what it was gonna be like when it came but everything looked exactly like the photos like literally nothing was different from what I expected it feels pretty good quality I mean I don't usually have like super expensive jewelry but this is very on par with if not better than a lot of the existing jewelry that I have so I'm gonna show you everything that I got which is a lot of things I'm about to wear all this stuff all the time I'm gonna show you my favorite ones first at least as of right now because I want to wear them tomorrow to an event there are these blue little bow earrings with gold on the edge. I'm obsessed with bows right now. Such a pretty blue color. It reminds me of like Alice in Wonderland. Then we have these strawberry stud earrings. Very cute for summer. I feel like strawberries are always pretty trendy. And all the ones that open like this are very well made. You know how sometimes it's, it, it's too loose and then it like breaks? This next pair are these colorful jeweled little gold hoops. I just love the little color variation on these ones. Okay, this one came in a set of three. It's a little four leaf clover that's like very shiny. Looks like diamonds to me. We got it in a hoop variation on a little bedazzled hoop. And then we got it in a dangled hoop variation. Got these cute larger flowers. They're like a peach color, very tropical Hawaii vibe. Again, like very good quality. This was the only one I got that I think was ax I got on accident. It was supposed to be like cufflinks. So they're kind of just like a pearl little cufflink vibe. They don't have like a back to it, but these would have been such cute earrings. I think I can still wear them as earrings. They're just not going to be as like wedged in there. How gorgeous are these? Like, why does that look like a real diamond to me? I'm not a diamond expert, but that is shiny as fuck. Well. This be looking like like Rose Dawson's necklace from the sea. This is similar to the other flower one I showed you, but it's more pink and less peach and it's a little bit smaller, has less petals. This one is like a little flower wreath. I think it's so pretty and dainty. And all of these are so sparkly, I'm obsessed. Out of everything that I got, this one probably looks and feels the cheapest. They're just like these big three circle earrings. They just feel lighter than the other ones and like more airy and hollow, but still cute. This one is is again gorgeous like kind of lavender moon with stars constellation astronomy girl vibes continuing with the kind of astronomy vibes a sphere like a blue sphere with a moon and star on the outside because i'm in a bow phase right now had to get these little bows in silver for the days when i feel like wearing silver over gold i feel like this would be really cute for christmas time these ones are actually super cool in a concept it has the dangly things that are removable so i could just wear it as the butterflies if you remove the back basically you can add this little dangly part to any earring. This is a concept to me. Like I can literally just hang this to the back of any earring and then put the earring back to it and then it becomes dangly. And that just blew my mind and I may try this out on some of my other earrings. These remind me of one of my favorite pairs of earrings that I have right now, but they have the little heart instead of the flower. So cute. It's like a little keychain. Again, this is one that snaps open like this and is very, it's got a hearty snap to it. Next we have some little turquoise gold old huggy hoops. I just love the pop of color on this. This one's cool. It's like a fancy take on the gold hoops. We got three little hoops in one. It reminds me of a whisk a little bit. I was obsessed with this line that they had, which was just stuff that looked like this. It's kind of vintage looking. Going back to the Titanic, I don't know what it is. Why do I feel like if I went to the Titanic shipwreck, I would find something like this. So they had 
this in the earring form as well, but I got the necklace. There was like six different versions. So I got another version as well. Here's another version I got. It's more like a white heart. I want to get more of these. I'm so in love. Another necklace I got was this little flower one. It's just a little white flower. And then we got another necklace, which is like a little butterfly pendant. This one might be my favorite necklace. Just because it's so trendy right now, these types of necklaces. It's a little charm pearl necklace. It's got the seashells and the starfish. I really, really, really recommend Nihao jewelry if you're looking for some cheap, cute, pretty good quality jewelry. And then of course, the lovely Halara Athletic Sports brand. I've done multiple little hauls with them. Their sports stuff is so cute. Every Every single time I wear Halara, I get compliments. I get, where is that from? I genuinely think their stuff is just so cute and not as expensive as brands like Lululemon. I always see their ads for like the work pants. So I actually got a few pairs this time and I'll start with those. This one is by far my favorite. I almost wore it to jury duty the other day. It's these black business looking pants but they feel like athleisure. Like it's more kind of legging, elastic, nice material. And look, the back has cute little pockets. They look like business trousers, right? But they feel like jogger athletic. Lara. Got this in a size small. This one just fits me pretty well. And it's like, it, it makes me look tall. Some of the other ones, I don't know if I love the way it fits on me. So I got two kind of lighter gray pairs, very similar. This one is less athletic material. It's almost a little waffly and it does have like the belt loops if you want it and it goes a little more you know like wide leg I don't know maybe I got the wrong size or something but I feel like it looks a little frumpy on me like it's very small in the waist but then it kind of frumps out a little bit so this is not my favorite in terms of how it looks on my body type and same with this next pair this one's probably my least favorite out of the three kind of like work pants that I got I think this one also looks the least work vibes this one is almost more of a jogger wide leg pant and it goes even more wide leg than the one I just showed you. Again, I think the waist is just a little too tight for how wide the rest of it is. I think I do look a little frumpy in this one as well. This one I also got in a size small. And then I got an athletic dress. I really like the style of this one. I just think it's so cute. I like how kind of shorter it is and like the V right here and the way it just kind of flounces out. Here's the back. It's kind of like a crisscross situation. My favorite pickleball dresses come from Halara. Navy blue color, built in pads. As with all Halara dresses, it's got the biker shorts in them as well. Got this in a size small, fits pretty well. I got this kind of like onesie black top that also has the biker shorts attached to it. Very cute, very like kind of an LA moment I feel like, but it's super comfortable. I actually got this in a size medium. The bottoms are maybe just slightly on the larger size, but I don't like things to fit like too tight sometimes so I think these are very comfortable I could also wear this playing pickleball just doing a hike anything it's got pockets enough stuff to air me out I only ever get padded tops so just assume all the tops like I got are padded this one is my new favorite workout top I'm not even kidding I just love the color like these two colors together is chef's kiss the way it's like binding the ends. The back is kind of a, a bra type hook, which I don't know how I feel about the bra type. It's, it's a little, you know, like harder to put on sometimes. Got this in a size medium. And then I love Halara biker shorts. I live religiously in them in the summertime. I got one in a green color last time. So this time I got that same pair in maroon. These are just, oh. I mean, they're sweat proof. I've worn these doing really intense workouts. There's no sweat showing through on this, at least for me, given I don't sweat too much on my leg area. It's also high-waisted. And then I got another fun pair of biker shorts, kind of like this marled purple color. I just think they're fun, but they're not too crazy. Has the pocket for the phone, AirPods. Not all of their stuff has a logo on it yet. I really think they should put their logo on everything. Get the brand awareness out there. Size medium, we'll be wearing this all the time. I got this one. One. I think this is cool. It's like a high neck and it's got some cool kind of ventilation in the front and back like that. Love the color. This is just a classic workout top, which I got in a size medium. I'm glad that I got a lot of these tops in size medium because I think a small would have been a little constricting for me. Oh wait, I did get another pair of pants. These ones I also very much like because they're like a little flare legging, but they have the little businessy pockets at the back and I love a flare legging. So it basically fits more like a flare legging than a 
business pants. This top I got in black before and it's one of my favorite tops so I had to get it in this kind of, what is this? Like a little burnt orange color. I like how it's more of a square neck in the front and the back actually crisscrosses and so I get good ventilation on my back. And then this is a new style top I got. It's like pretty basic in the front but the back does kind of a zigzag thing. It's like a fun take on a racer back with a little zigzag. I think that would be cute for run club, you know, stuff like that. Next is this brand called Accio. They sell very cute pickleball paddles and I actually play pickleball a lot. It came with this bag, which I always bring every single time. Super convenient. It fits a lot of paddles. I actually have a different paddle in here with my Accio ones. These ones have already been used a few times. Can confirm they work. Now I'm not like an expert pickleballer, but for my level, which is like intermediate, it works. I got this style, but they have a bunch of different styles. I just thought this one was colorful and pretty. Here's the little white grip handle. It's already a little dirty because I've been using it because I wanted to test it before I told you guys about it. This is how thick it is. So it came with two of these, the pickleball bag and two pickleball balls with that. Super cute and it's on Amazon for about $33. Okay, so this brand, Vermu, sent me a pair of prescription glasses, which is perfect because I actually needed some. I have not gotten a new pair of prescription glasses since fifth grade and those ones are not the vibe. So when Fermu offered to send me a pair of prescription glasses, I was lit, it came in this little container. I sent them my like, all my little measurements that I got from my eye doctor. And then I picked out the frame. This is the one I picked out. I'm still learning like what type of glass frame looks good on me because I don't really ever wear them because I wear these night contacts things. That's a longer story. Sometimes I do need a pair of glasses. Now I can't really open my eyes right now because my vision's good so it makes me dizzy but. And I tried them when my vision wasn't as good and it worked perfectly. It's honestly a decently heavy frame and like feels pretty great quality to me. And like these things are really firm in there, like Armu. And so it stays on my ear well, it doesn't feel like loose. So I'm very happy with these. All right, we gotta talk about the Zonli cooling blanket because this Zonli cooling blanket has been on my bed for the past couple of months and it definitely gets the job done. Whenever I get hot at night, I turn around, I put my arms in this cooling blanket and it sure does cool me down. So this is the one I got. It is in this tan color. So one side is like this quilted darker tan and then the other side is like a shinier, lighter marbled tan color. They have very, very good colors that will definitely fit whatever aesthetic your room is. There's also different sizes. I believe I got like a very, I think I got the queen size. Here's the brand Zonli. It's like made from 100% bamboo fiber. And so it is the real deal here. Like, oh, it's cooling me down right now. And I literally am like overheating and this feels so good right now. It's antibacterial, hyperallergenic, double-sided. The shiny side is the bamboo fiber side. It's also machine washable and soft. Okay, another product that I've genuinely been using all the time because my freaking Apple AirPod left one keeps dying on me. And so sometimes at the gym, I will I bring this one and my Apple AirPods and these are just basically an AirPod dupe. The battery life has a very loyal Apple consumer, I have to say. And it might just be because my AirPods are old. But the battery life on this is way better. This uses a USB-C charger and you can always see the battery percentage in the front, which I also find useful. Here's what it looks like. I mean, it fits in my ear pretty well. Only thing I will say about these is that it's very sensitive to the touch. And so even when I go to press it in, to like push it in further, it'll like pause the song. So that is the only annoying thing. I don't know if I can like adjust that in the settings. This was the box that came in. Tag it says you can get about six hours of playtime on a single full charge. I feel like mine can last longer, Loki. I think it's slightly waterproof. Another thing that I got were these Movo speaker microphones that can connect. There's two of these, but one of these I have charging somewhere. This is a microphone that clips onto you. You can put this thing onto the little microphone to make it be, look like an actual mini microphone. And then this part plugs into whatever device you're recording on. It just makes it so you can kind of walk anywhere but it sounds like you're still there. Very convenient for certain vlogging instances or videos where it might be like really loud and you want the camera to be further away. And it did come with all the chargers and everything as well. I also got this four set of AirPod case things that I think are so cute. It's Disney themed. Here's Mike Wazowski. Each one comes with a cute little keychain as well. So I think pretty easily, you just like slip this into here as such. And then you put the little ears on. Oh what? This is so funny. And Mike Wazowski is a freaking icon. Do not put disrespect 
on the Mike Wazowski name. And then I could also just put this onto the, this little part and so it becomes a little keychain. Of course, you also need Sully. How cute would this little matching thing be with like your friend or whatever? We have Mickey as well. Oh my gosh. And then we have Minnie. I am so in love with these. I actually just got this today. It's like a makeup brush set with a light. I'm very impressed with the makeup brushes. Not so much with the mirror part. I do like how compact it is. I feel like this would be pretty easy to bring on vacation. The only thing was the mirror came like hella scratched. So it's like very actually kind of blurry. I can't see my face very clear in it, but it did come charged. So it does light up. And I mean, if you're like really in, in in need of a mirror like emergency on vacation this does come in handy but i'm most excited about all the brushes they're all really cute matching pink brushes just all the different variety really soft bristles and then another cool thing is the mirror swivels here are all the different types of brushes that it comes with. Next, I got this beautiful red lacy, just like long pajama dress. It's pretty much a maxi pajama dress and I just think it's so cute. So dainty, so feminine and cozy. So this is a very cute little Amazon gift. Another Amazon thing that I got was the set. And so it's like very thick, kind of neoprene almost, elastic cooling material, gray wide leg sweatpants, and then it came with the matching top in the similar gray color. It has pockets, it's a quarter zip. How cute of an airport outfit would this be? It seriously feels cooling. Obviously not as much as my little cooling blanket, but I get a lot of like Amazon emails that people wanted me to try their Amazon products. I got this wearable speaker, basically a Bluetooth speaker that you can clip onto yourself. So like if you're running or biking or something or hiking and you don't want to carry a little Bluetooth speaker, I will say I haven't gotten a chance to test this out yet, but it looks very fun. Functional. Let's test it out actually. It popped up as RYBS100. What should we buy? I'm gonna get copyrighted. <laughs> Oh, wow. Guys, the speaker's actually very loud. I just played espresso. It was very loud. I am impressed. Just where I'm at in life, like, like people who are closest to me inspire me, you know? From Manta Sleep, I got some very nice, very soft, like, sleep masks for nighttime. And it's, like, adjustable Velcro in the back. It's just nice because it has the cushions so it doesn't, like, squish your actual eye. And it's so soft and, like, feels like memory foam. So, you know, catch me on the plain looking like this they got additional eye cups from this so very random but these are just a different material and size and you can carry it like this onto the airplane how cute this one's super random i got chair covers it's just like four little chair covers in this design i picked the design very random i didn't really know what i was going off of but it's kind of like a little thin soft material i don't know these might come in handy one day got these athlefit sandals and they're actually really nice it's like a tan color the bottom Bottom is like spongy and this is great for just like walking to the beach it's got like very substantial soles and they're actually very comfortable I tried these on and this parts velcroed this parts velcroed just a very good summer sandal all right and then this Amazon brand called g4 free sent me a bunch of their athletic clothing so I first got these pair of like leggings and they're really nice because they're super elastic on the waistband it's just like the classic spandex elastic material and the pockets are super deep on this one. It's a size medium. It's more just like a looser kind of comfy fit. I also got the pants in this more tan color. Love it. Very similar with the deep pockets. It's got a slight crisscross this one. This is like pretty good quality I would say. Like it's very on par with the athletic wear that I've gotten from Holara from Hollister Gilly Hicks brand. I would say the style is a little more kind of like looser especially on the thigh area. Also got this pair in like a gray like a very light gray and this one kind of similar to the Holara is more of like a work type of pant this one I enjoy because I don't have a lot of long sleeve like UV shields and this is like a thin lightweight very soft long black kind of UV protection shirt this has like an SPF up to like 50 production protection which is amazing and then I also got a skirt so I got a cute little pink skirt it has the biker shorts built in this skirt's not as soft as the other things that I showed this one's a little more just like athletic almost swimsuit material another random Amazon thing that I got sent was this paper towel holder so basically you can like stick this onto any kind of surface and then the paper towel holder kind of 
locks in place here and you can slide it and then this brand Fiobach they make like men's clothing like men's t-shirts and stuff like that I actually sent a bunch of all this stuff to my brother and he actually really liked it like he said these are like some of his favorite shirts now I'm not even kidding we got three shirts three v-necks and like some jeans and then I also got a, a bunch of stuff sent from Dressin. some of the stuff is really cute some of the stuff was more of a flop and so I think it's a little bit of hit or miss with this brand for me yeah I'll just quickly flash through some of the stuff I got from Dressin. And and that is most of the stuff that I got these past couple of months. Still shook by a lot of these items. Very thankful. Definitely check out the brands if any of them piqued your interest. And maybe I'll make some more videos like this in the future. We'll see. But I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.